Hello everyone, welcome back to Skill Curve. Today we are taking a deep dive into the Gemini Pro API, Google's latest and most powerful language model. Google just opened their access to Gemini Pro's API, okay? And the best part is that you can test it like absolutely free, no cost at all. To use it, what you need to do, you just simply need to click on like this, get API key in Google AI Studio, okay? So just click on this thing, it will take me to like makersuit.google.com. Okay, so here what you can do, you can simply first accept all the terms of service and click on continue, okay? Then you're all good to go, okay? You can see right over here that I am inside of my Google AI Studio. This is how the interface looks like. Pretty much I can say similar to what it provides in like Colab actually, okay? So Google Gemini Pro is currently only available inside of Google AI Studio, okay? So in this, you can test out your models you can see right over here on the right hand side here actually in the model section you can see two models Gemini Pro and Vision if you choose Gemini Pro Vision so now you can actually you can see upload the image and then if you just simply choose the pro one it's for the textual prompt you can maneuver the temperature here as well okay then you can add like stop sequence and under safety settings I am really impressed by this uh, as a developer you can control these things like harassment, there are three options. If you want to block all, you can choose this one. If you want to block some, you can choose this one. If you want to like block few one or none, you can choose this one, okay? When you like maneuver these settings. So in your application, you can use like uh, as you want, okay? So that's really a cool and great feature that like Google is providing. And under the advanced setting, you can choose the output length and top K as well and top P as well, okay? So these are some settings which are there in the Gemini model. So let me just try to give it a test input. I'll say like explain generative AI to a five grade student. Okay, let's run it to see how it performs in this scenario. All right, the generation is pretty quick. I'm literally impressed. Google's Gemini model is like really good at imagining the things. So I believe that it has done a pretty decent job here as well. It says like generative AI is like a magic helper that can create new things from nothing like pictures, stories, and even music. It's super cool and fun to use. Like it's showing here how it works. Generative AI can do all sort of amazing things like heuristic images, okay? Design new medicines, that's great. So yeah, that looks really promising if I just switch the model so you can actually choose image here, okay? Let's press tab, okay? So this is the image. Uh, it says like, describe what the people are doing in this image. Let's send it to see what it generates. Okay, all right. It says like two men are playing cricket. The man in foreground is the batsman and the man in the background is the wicket keep. The batsman is about to hit the ball with his bat. That's really cool. The wicket keeper is standing behind the stumps ready to catch the ball if batsman misses it. That's pretty cool and amazing actually, okay? So, all right, you can see here that it's actually looking really good. So, if you are satisfied with the settings of your model, like in safety settings as well and advanced setting, everything that you need to do with this, okay? What you need to do, you just simply need to click on this like get code and it will actually provide you with the code. You have like multiple options. You can get code in curl, JavaScript, Python, okay? Android, Kotlin and Swift, okay? If I choose Python, you can see right over here that it gives you all the code, okay? Gives you necessary like uh, installations and everything. So here your API key will like go. All right, so now let's see how to run both models in like Google Colab, okay? So now to run this on to your Colab or on anything, you need to get the API key. Just click on this API key and make sure that you save changes which you made like onto your the system. Mm -hmm. Click on OK. I already created one which I was testing previously, but you can create a new one from here. OK, so this is my new API key. I'll simply copy this one, close this thing out here. OK, so now what I need to do, I just simply need to come to my Google Colab. So you need to set in your API key. You need to go to this thing like secrets and this you need to add your secret key here. OK. I'll name it as like Gemini underscore key and the value will come here. Okay. Yeah. Now I will simply switch it on. Okay. 
make sure that your notebook has access to this key so that you can use it inside of your notebook. So now I'll simply close this thing out. All right, so here is the Google Colab version of this thing. You can see right over here, okay? So in this video, I will show you how to run like uh, Gemini Pro and Gemini Pro vision model. So first let's see how to run Gemini Pro text model, okay? First of all, you need to connect your runtime environment, okay? All right, it's connected. You can see right over here. now. What you need to do, you just simply need to run these cells, okay? First of all, you're installing like a Google Generative AI, okay? And then you need to actually import all the necessary packages. You need to set up your API key. My API key is named as Gemini underscore key, okay? I'll simply run this cell and it has configured my API key for me. Now, what I need to do, I will just list models which are available, okay? Currently, like, there are two models available, Gemini Pro and Gemini Pro Vision, okay? Now, I will be going to actually generate text from, like, text inputs, which is the capability of, like, Gemini Pro. I will simply run this cell, and model is actually selected as Gemini Pro. So now, let me just give it a text and take the response back. For that, we will be using, like, model dot generate underscore content okay so i'll just run this cell okay so yeah then response dot text okay the meaning of life is a profound question that has occupied the minds of philosophers theologians and other great thinkers throughout history okay you can read more about it from here it's looking actually really nice okay then in simple cases the response dot text accessor is all you need okay so you can see right over here what other options you have what you need to do you need to underscore markdown function to actually get a formatted version of this thing you can see right over here, this is really a cool thing i love this in this way okay now it says like if the api failed to return a result you can use generate content response dot prompt feedback to see if it was blocked due to safety concerns or not okay so far i believe that this collab is so well structured it has like everything if you want to learn anything about this this could be the best way like this collab is absolutely smooth as butter okay so if i run response dot prone feedback okay so harm category sexually explicit content is negligible and everything is negligible if it is blocked by something so it would indicate here okay now this is a cool thing okay gemini can generate multiple possible responses for a single prompt these responses are called candidates and you can review them to select most suitable one as the response this is the thing which open ai is missing okay if it just simply navigate to like bard.google.com okay so if i just try to click on anything like whale facts so bard itself has this like uh, behavior when you click on view other drafts so it has like three drafts and it is giving exactly same thing in its api as well okay all right to view the responses you can do like by doing response.candidates okay and it will provide you with like other details as well okay all right then it has like chat conversations as well you can see like gemini enables you to have free form conversation across multiple turn okay the chat session class simplifies the process by managing the state of the conversations so unlike the generate content you do have to store the conversation history as a list so this is really important so if i just try to run this cell okay so now i'm going to give it a response like response equals chat dot send message okay like we are initiating chat conversation i'm saying in one sentence explain how a computer works to a young child so if i simply run this thing so you see that it's just provided me with like the text okay if i go back to the chat history this was the role of the user and this was the role of the model so it breaks down it into like a lot easier way the purpose of this method like chat conversations is actually the way you communicate with like this thing bard okay or like some other open ai's chat gpt4 like it can coordinate with the previous responses as well okay all right so now what i'm trying to do i'm trying to see whether this thing takes in regard the previous response as well or not so you can see right over here that i first provided it with a prompt like uh, in one sentence explain how computer works to a young child okay then 
I just said like, okay, how about a more detailed explanation to a high schooler? I didn't specify anything about like a computer or anything to indicate that it is actually connected to the previous response, but it works actually like a charm. Okay, you can see right over here. That's really a cool and amazing feature. Okay, now you can see the entire history here as well. Like first user said this, model replied in this way. Then user said this and then model replied in this way. So yeah, that's really a cool and amazing feature. Okay. So that was the end of our this section like Gemini Pro 1. Okay. All right. So now let's see how you can use Gemini Pro vision model that accepts both text and images and inputs. It uses like generative model dot generate content. And this API is designed to handle multi-modal prompts and returns a text output. Okay. First of all, just I will load the image. Okay. This is my image. You can upload from the drive as well. It's totally up to you. Okay. Now, if you want to open the image, you can do that as well. Like I am using pillow. That's totally fine. And don't worry, I will provide both of these notebooks in the description of this video so that you don't have to go anywhere. Okay. Now I have to load like Gemini Pro Vision model. You can see right over here. It's loaded. You have to use like generate content function here. Okay. And provide in with the image. If you just provide the image, it will actually tell you like what this image is actually about. So you see that if I just provided it with the image, it just gave me the complete recipe, like how to create this cool dish. Okay. You can see right over here, there are like ingredients, then it has instructions and then it said enjoy. Okay. I am literally impressed with this response. But there's another way, okay? You can use the same function with a prompt as well, like write a short engaging blog post, for instance. This could be really handy use case if you're a blogger and write blogs regularly, okay? For this, you need to just specify the prompt comma image inside of like the square brackets, and then you need to resolve the response, okay? All right, it's done. Now with the help of like two underscore markdown function, what you can do, you can just simply add convert this thing into text, okay? To see what it is actually, okay? So you can see right over here, it's a cool, tiny little blog that it just provided. So yeah, that's really cool. And I am literally impressed by this Google's Gemini Pro API. And I believe that it's quite a lot easier to implement and better than OpenAI's one, okay? And for the time being, it's free so you can benefit from it and make cool applications to showcase on your portfolio. Okay. One more cool thing that Google has come up with. Suppose if there is any error in the code, if I run this and I get into some error, okay, like this thing. Okay. If you click on like this explain error, now Colab AI is here to resolve your error. So just click on this thing. You can see right over here that Colab AI is working on this to resolve the error. So it can actually help you to resolve the errors. So that's really a cool and amazing and handy feature that Google has come up with. Okay. It's actually free for now, but it would be available for like Colab Pro users in future. Okay. So yeah, that's another cool feature that Google has come up with. Mind blown by Google's Gemini Pro API. Same here. This AI playground just changed the game. Now you can go and build something unreal. Google whispered the secrets of AI. Now with the Gemini Pro API, the future is in your hand and in your code. Tell me in the comments what you will create with this cool API feature by Google. My brain just did a backflip thanks to Google's Gemini Pro API. Turns out building the future is actually fun. Google's Gemini Pro API is actually a game changer in offset. So that marks the end of our this video. I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I shall catch you up in some other one. Till then, have a good day.